A critical step in shooting video with the D800 is getting the exposure right. The camera sets the exposure automatically. However, your videos may not have the mood or feeling you want it. Manual exposure mode allows you to take control of the settings. In manual mode, the main command dial controls the shutter speed. The sub command dial controls the aperture value. There are a few points to consider before you set the exposure. First, will there be any movement in your video? When shooting sports or panning the camera, select a shutter speed that is about double the frame rate. It's important to understand that frames per second and shutter speed are not the same thing. Shutter speed refers to how long the image sensor is active when recording one frame of video. Frame rate refers to the number of frames recorded each second. So let's say the camera is set for 60 frames per second. Select a shutter speed of 1 1 25th of a second. This is roughly double the frame rate. You could set an even faster shutter speed. However, speeds of 1 3 20th of a second or more are not recommended. There will be very little motion blur between frames. Your video will look choppy. When selecting an aperture value, choose a depth of field that enhances the composition. A narrow aperture keeps everything in focus. Your audience takes in the entire scene at once. Dial the aperture wide open if you want the audience to focus only on the main subject. This creates a shallow depth of field. The real advantage of DSLRs over video cameras is the ability to set a shallow depth of field. There are two reasons. First, you can shoot with one of Nikon's wide aperture lenses. Second, the full frame sensor is larger than a video camera sensor. This helps to create a shallow depth of field. The final exposure setting to consider is ISO. Video compression magnifies the digital noise caused by high ISO speeds. Set the lowest ISO possible for the lighting conditions. Record a test video at the beginning of your shoot. Check to make sure the exposure is right for the scene and your subject. This is important because you may not be able to fix the exposure in editing without adding digital noise or artifacts. The following exercise will help you understand how the exposure settings affect video quality. Set the camera to manual mode and underexpose a subject by two EV steps. Record a raw image. Now, activate movie shooting. Use the same exposure settings to record a short movie of your subject. Load the raw image into a photo editing program. Use the editing tools to correct the exposure. Next, open your video in an editing program. Use video editing tools to increase the exposure. Make sure the video matches the corrected raw image. Do you see a difference in image quality? The video looks very grainy compared to the raw image. The reason is that unlike raw files, the camera compresses video before saving it to the memory card. Any changes made during video editing have the potential to reduce image quality. Avoid these issues by setting the camera correctly before pressing record. Here is video of the same scene shot with the correct exposure settings. The overall image quality is much better.